Hey guys, it's Apollo here, and today I'm going to do the unboxing of the 124 skill high grade Gundam Dentalion. Here is the box itself. Now, it came out today in the store, quickly went to the store, grabbed it, came back here, and started unboxing. So, yeah, uh, I didn't really expect the Dentalion to have, uh, have a kit being released, and yeah, since those big those big arms holy crap i really i really like those arms uh it's like he skipped like he's been working out but he skipped like day if you know what i mean but yeah italian so yeah pretty much um it the the base gun themselves is pretty plain but with, with that added uh i guess it's called half cow tea um it pretty much just adds the uh, extra bulk and extra like badassness on this kid so yeah so there's the Italian. Uh, I wonder if you can use it, use this on Earth, but judging by how big it is, I don't think it's possible to use it on Earth, possibly in space. And there's there's the pilot. Uh, I guess his name is Zaza Zara. I can't remember. And on the side, you it shows you what the Italian can do. The Italian gun Italians have cow T for computers and pests so it with two gigantic arms. Yeah. And see, it, it has a rifle, the bayonet rifle, and the bayonet sword. E enormous, almost enormous. I see. And that's going to be a lot better. Blah blah blah. Lightly equipped, na lightly equipped naked form. Wow. Um. Yeah, it is bare bones. So, yeah. <laughs> and see this right here. Focus. Here we go. So pretty much right there, it says uh, you can customize the Dentalion with a bunch of par parts. Like, there's a lot of hard points in, around, around the Gundam, and you pretty much uh, uh, get to custom uh, do whatever you want, make your own custom gun gunpla, as they see here. <laughs> and I really like that. All right, I don't want to move on camera, but um, let's continue. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I, I really like that uh, that frame that frame back 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 screen right there is completely framed. And not the actual, not, not nothing covering the frame, so it's pretty interesting. And it retails at sixteen hundred yen, which is kind of a uh, expensive kit. Like uh, usually you think that the the kits are usually around thousand yen, twelve hundred yen, fourteen hundred yen, somewhere on those lines. But this one with having the uh, half count tea, it's pretty much ex expensive. And not to mention the astro the astro frame is cemental is eighteen hundred yen. So these are the first few few kits, few gun, few uh mobile suits to to an expensive price. The most expensive one being the uh, Hashmel. So okay, I'll stop here and I'll open the box. All right, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus the first time because the off focus is really bad. So we just better focus it. So wait for let's open up the box. <coughs> first bag, you got the stickers, which they're not a terrible amount, but Really, uh, I, again, I'm gonna paint paint them on, so it's not not a huge issue. The thing you get the blue, the white, the yellow, and the light gray, the multicolored. And on the back, you get the uh, uh, parts for the half color T and some part parts from the Gundam, like the chest and all that stuff. Next back, you get the E runner, which uh. Huh, it's like, <laughs> it's a special, it's like a stop or something, I'm assuming they might make a uh, half cow uh, B or something like that, the, the bottom half of the Dentalion, if, if, I'm assuming they make, make one soon, <laughs> judging from the runners, and the polycaps, which, <laughs> the polycaps are not in this typical uh, gun, a gun for a gun metal, this one, this is more of a bluish gray, Almost like Kimmer's Vidar, but it's much more grayer, not that much less, much less bluer than the Kimmer's Vidar. That's and the last one, you get more inner frame bits, the weapons, and you get the standard gun in the frame four, which again, it's more, it's more like gray, that normal gray rather than that uh, gun metal we see on the gun frames usually. And ooh. Now this is no this, this this is what I'm talking about. I really I really like that. It, it's meant for the get them try age game, but uh, unfortunately there's no try age game in right here where I live. But 
it's, it's nice that they have this two in there. I really like cards, really, so. And this one is, is shiny. That's just pretty damn cool. <laughs> and the manual. Pretty much, uh, it tells you about, uh, okay, this name is Zaza Fossil, okay. <laughs> and people are saying that the, uh, the Dantalian is one one of the last few Gundam frames made in the Calamity War and pretty much uh uh, uh it's very, it's proven effective against mobile armor. So yeah, it's pretty it's pretty interesting to see Dantalian. Uh, it first appeared in Tri Age but before it actually appeared in uh what was it again? Oh yeah, the the side story. Although, although if I if I do remember correctly, the the side story Gantel looks different. The, 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 the style of Gantel looks more, it's more dark blue and red, while this one is more whitish and white, blue, and gray. And maybe yellow in there, but yeah. Okay, so yeah. That's about it for the unboxing of the High Grade Gantel Italian. I'm, I'm excited about this. Uh, I'm pretty interested to see how the half tall T will come turn out. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I build this. So yeah, let's get this building as soon as I could, because probably gonna open this anytime soon. But yeah, so that's the guy. Thank you for watching this video, and stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.